Hello students. In our today's class, let us study about the chapter zero. Mathematics, class one, chapter four. How many fruits are there in each basket? Now see the picture. It is a picture of a basket filled with apples. I know you love apples, isn't it? Now tell me, how many apples are there in the basket? One, two, three, four, and five. How many fruits are there? There are five fruits. Which are those fruits? Apples. There are five apples in the basket. Now see this picture and tell me how many apples are there in this basket. Yes, you guessed it right. There are three apples in this basket. Now how many apples are there in the basket? Two apples in the basket. What about this basket? There are no fruits. So, what you can see from this image? There are no fruits in the given basket. So, the number of fruits or the apples in the basket is zero. You see the empty basket here. So, there are no fruits in the basket. So, number of fruits in the basket is zero. It is zero. What are these? These are birds. You see birds flying on the sky, isn't it? Yes. How many birds are there? There are three birds flying on the sky. There are three birds flying, isn't it? Yes. Now, how many birds? There is only one bird. You see only one bird flying on the sky, isn't it? Yes. What about the birds now? There are no birds flying, isn't it? There are no birds flying. What do you mean by there are no birds flying? That means the number of birds flying is zero. The number of birds flying is zero. It is zero. See the number zero. It is an empty basket. So I said there are no fruits in the basket. If there are no fruits, we say that number of fruits in the basket is zero. Number of fruits in the basket is zero. What is this? This is an empty jar. Empty jar. There are no chocolates in that jar. So, it is an empty jar, isn't it? This is an empty jar. So, we can say that there are no chocolates in the jar. There are no chocolates in the jar. So, the number of chocolates in the jar is zero. The number of chocolates in the jar is zero. Do you find any flowers in this plant? No. There are no flowers in the plant, isn't it? There are only leaves, correct? There are no flowers in the plant. That means the number of flowers in the plant is zero. The number of flowers in the plant is zero. Now, let us study how to write zero. From this video, you have to learn the process of writing zero. Now, all of you write zero in your book. Yes, I hope you have written zero in your books. 
very good children look at the picture write the correct um, number in the given space okay what picture do you find in this video yes it is houses how many houses are there there are two houses how many trees are there there are no trees in the image that means the number of trees is equal to 0 what do you find in the image you find flowers how many flowers are there there are five flowers different flowers isn't it colorful flowers you love flowers isn't it yes there are five flowers so flowers is equal to 5 what about fruits there are no fruits in the image so number of fruits is 0 what is this this is a tortoise how many tortoises are there in the image there is only one tortoise so birds is equal to 0 why 0 because there are no birds in the image but tortoise equal to 1 look at the picture write the correct number in the space now how many dolls do you find in the image 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so the number of dolls is equal to 7 you see there the balls they have given balls do you find any balls in the image no so the number of balls is 0 but the number of dolls is 7 what are these these are pens isn't it these are pens of three different colors blue blue red and black how many pens are there there are three pens so the number of pens is equal to 3 what about pencils do you find any pencils in the image no so the number of pencils is 0 but the number of pen is 3 so in our today's class we have learnt about zero hope you understood today's lesson thanks for watching kindly like share and subscribe to our channel for more videos